Well, guys, I have to confess. This is a park known as Commerce Park right here on North Broadway. I've been living in Yonkers for a whole bunch of years, close to 40, a little bit over 40, and I did not know about the name of this park. Today we have somebody who's going to tell us about the park, yes. going to tell us about programs coming up. Yeah. And this is no other than, there you go, he got that <laughs> hook. Ray. What's up, guys? You are the man. Thank you for being out here, man. Thank now, you for having me. Besides being an art director, yes, have yes, you yes, yes. thought about joining the NFL? NFL, you mean the NBA? NBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don, I used to, see, but that's the crazy thing. I used to have big dreams about that when I was younger. And uh, things, you know, I, I was birthed into realism once I got a little older. So, <laughs> but yeah, now welcome to Commerce Park, um, right behind Palisades Prep High School. Um, this is one of the parks we identified uh, with the with the city as one of the potential parks that we will look to roll out our art in a park project, our community project. The purpose of the project really is to help revitalize some of these parks because, as you can see, some of the parks are there shrouded in these gray and white institutional type walls. Um, there are cracks in the floors. The, as you can see, the courts, the rims are still missing from the pandemic, um, the shutdown. These benches are desolate. They're breaking apart. We have some parks actually have hills and indentations in the parks that aggregate water. And we know what that does. That brings, you know, that brings together bacteria, all types of insects, all that stuff. So we want to eliminate all those from the parks. And we want to help revitalize the parks by installing beautiful art installations on whether the court or the wall surrounding the park. So the idea really is to, again, help rejuvenate these parks with, through the arts and installing these beautiful art installations. Now, Ray, do we have a time frame? When is this supposed to happen? Does the, is the community going to be involved? Sure. Tell us everything about it. So, yeah, so I, again, we, ideally I would like to have two done by the end of this year. I'm looking to, I'm looking to hopefully do one prior to Yonkers Arts Weekend. Hopefully that's in the, the spring, fall. We're still trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, two this year for sure. I'm pushing, pushing hard for that. Everything that I do always has a community sense to it. So every park located in any community will have the feeling and the, the love of that particular community. The, 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 the creative design will mimic and represent the actual community as well. So every design will be different. Every, everything with the approach will have that, that particular community love and get back in, embedded into it. Now, Ray, we have a whole bunch of parks here in Yonkers. Yes. How yes. do you prioritize and decide, okay, we're going to go to this park first, sure. starting the revitalization sure. on this one first versus the other one. How do you make that decision? Sure, but this one we identified as a strong candidate because it's one court, um, it has a beautiful wall surrounding it, and it could be our beta site. So we, from here, we could look to scale, whether it's up or down based off this one particular location. So we know that there's some parks that has you know, four courts, five courts, you know, a little, little, probably more wall. Um, we'll use this as a template in a smaller park as a template so that we can see how we could realistically execute some of the campaigns. You know, that's a great thing because we need to get the youth in Yonkers Absolutely. involved in positive stuff. Absolutely. Give Absolutely. them an, a way to enjoy, have fun. Sure, sure, sure. And see sure. that the fun of life is doing things like this. Yes, and you know, get the one thing, I'm, I'm glad you actually mentioned that, that I ever had dreams of playing in the NBA is because again, growing up, I grew up in the parks. I grew up playing basketball. So those dreams, those aspirations of being bigger and being in the NBA are very prevalent, and especially in lower income communities. Um, we see that, that that's a way out. We want to provide more opportunities for kids to, again, have that development at the same time to learn the, the benefits of having something like this in the community. Um, like I, I, I attribute a lot of my competitive nature for growing up in the parks, my, my adult development from the park. So I want to provide that same opportunity with some great, great, beautiful art installations that represents the community. It's just a, it's a win-win for everyone. But you know, Ray, it's good that you found a, a way mm -hmm. to bridge sports, yes. youth, yes. and arts. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, tell me about arts. I know it, it, arts is something that you take very dear to Absolutely. your heart. Absolutely. Definitely. But let's see if we can communicate that to others sure, and, uh, and sure. explain that arts not necessarily means painting. Mm -hmm. There is many ways oh, of yes. expressing Absolutely. arts. Absolutely. And we want the, whatever creative design we integrate into the park, we want that, that, we want that feeling to represent what that particular community represents. So let's say, for example, we would go to someone, some place like McLean Avenue. That design is going to be completely different than a, uh, an activation here in Southwest or Southwest Yonkers. So that's, that's the approach. Um, 
I will, again, there's so many parks we want to do. Uh, this is park is definitely near and dear. I would love to do Serato Park on Riverdale. Um, we identified um, Sullivan o Sullivan's Oval, which is behind Schools 23. Uh, Trevor Park is a possible contender. So it's a few parks that we identified that we love. We would love to revitalize and bring reason, bring positive feelings to those communities. Also bring people that's art, art, and, art and mural hunters to that particular place. And it does well for the businesses surrounding the community as well. Now, Ray, to conclude this, this is all good. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need to tell people how to reach out. Okay? Sure, sure. So how can they reach out to you? How can they reach out to your organization? Absolutely. How can they make it happen? How can they change yeah. the path of life? <laughs> tell us all that. Well, most people know where to find me. Um, you can find me at Yonkers Arts on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I actually have a live running website for this particular project called Art in the Park, Yonkers.org. You can also follow us at our website, www.yonkersarts.org. And yeah, just stay tuned. Um, the donation the, the donation link is live on Facebook, it's live on the website. All the information is there, so you can find everything there. So now to conclude this, Ray, you always wanted to join, you know, the NBL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, see, I'm not the, the NBA, yeah, yeah, NBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> see if you can take a run. But there's, there's no, come on just now, man. Just pretend I'm like, like <laughs> you know, there is fantasy football, <laughs> fantasy this. Just pretend you're playing. Come on, know, I didn't even stretch. You might maybe pull a hair trigger or something yeah, like excuses, that. Excuses, excuses. Let's check him Listen, out. Listen, shout out to Sacred Heart High School, man, because that's where I definitely developed most of my games. <laughs> but yeah, nah, I'm, not, I'm rusty, man. Get out of here with uh, that. Excuses, excuses. He's rusty. You're going to let him go. I got to stretch my hair strings. <laughs> anyway, Ray, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being you, here. Buddy. Thank you for talking to the community. Absolutely. Thank you for letting them know. And just keep up the good work, man. Will do, man. I appreciate you for taking keep the time out to come and interview me, too. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys.